Hi, this is Chris. I'm back again with uh, another video about making the Traveler's Journal. And today I'm going to show you how to decorate the front cover. So this is the book. Last time we bound it. And we started decorating the inside a little bit. Today I thought we'd decorate the outside. So basically I'm going to fold it flat. I've got a few things here that I've chosen. Um, this is a piece of lace, sim similar to the lace that went down the side, on the inside, that went down the side of a couple of the pages. Basically, it was just a big uh, piece of lace from the fabric store. I think it was about a yard or a half a yard. And then I just can, can cut strips. It's actually a stretch stretch lace, so I think it might be, you know, maybe like the type of lace you use for lingerie. Okay, and I have chosen... I usually do choose a piece of... ephemera so that when I cover the back part of the page then I can glue the ribbon down so that's what holds it to the book and you don't have to worry about um, you know the, the the ribbon or whatever closes the book coming loose it's it'll be glued down to the back so that's what we'll put on last so right now, let's work on this front area. I had wanted to cover. I've got some laces and flowers and things that I had wanted to use on the front. I'm clipped together with these paper clips, maybe a little bit too secure because the paper clips are staying right on the laces and cheesecloth. There we go. Okay, this cheesecloth that I've got is also going to act to add some stability to the, the lower part of the binding of the book. And the reason I chose this is because I think it kind of looks like um, netting, like you would see it, like fish netting. I want to arrange it so that it doesn't cover up this little boat that these that these two kids are uh, playing with. Okay. So pretty much what I'll do is I'll kind of audition first where I want this to go because I know I'm, I want that to be the underneath part, and then I'll take some. 3-in-1 glue or fabric tack. And I'll start to tack this down with a little bit of the fabric tack glue. Now this will show through a little bit because this has a lot of holes in it. It's okay. It'll kind of give it a maybe like a glittery look to it. And you could even add a little bit of glitter to it. Now if you if this goes down below the book, that's okay too. Don't worry about that. And I'll just keep working my way around. What I am going to do is give this a a bit of um glue right near the binding there. So we can go over the top of the binding and help give it some stability. What I'll do is I'll cut this just a little bit to give it a few ragged edges down here. I like the look of that.
Let me get here. And before I uh, start gluing this down, I did add a little bit of um, ink. to the cheesecloth. It was white and I just added a little bit to make it look more like a make it more look more like a net. Okay, like that. Next thing I'm going to do is I have picked out this piece of lace go over the top here in the corner and kind of give it the look of a, um, a little motif there. Okay, and I'm going to put this on the back of this piece of lace. I'm putting it on the areas where it won't go through quite as much, or it won't show through quite as much. And then we'll put that down, tap it down, I'm getting a wet wipe. <clears throat> Sometimes when you use this, uh, this glue, a wet wipe is really helpful because you can pat it down like so. And some of that brown is coming off. I kind of like that, so I'm gonna dab it in there and get some of that brown off. And see how it came off on my wet wipe. Okay, so I like that so far. Let's see how I have. This I thought we could put up here. I'm not worried about covering over the area that says postcard. You can still see it kind of peeking through. It goes down here. You can kind of audition, see which one you like better. Maybe this one to go better up here and this one down here. I think I like the way I had it. I got to put the cap back on here, which I'm going to do right now. You always want to try to put the cap back on here because it oozes out if you don't. Okay, um, take a look at that and see how I like it. do have more of these white flowers. See if I can get a little one. Okay, I think I might go with that. ready to glue the flowers down and the, this top lace. I 
Okay, these have a little paper on the back, which generally I take off because it it makes it less bulky. And then I just apply the glue right to the flower. I think I like that. The word postcard kind of peeks through a little bit better there. Hope you're all doing well today. Okay. I like that. Now I think I need to determine where I want my my ribbon closure to go. Sometimes on a on a journal, I will put the title of the journal on on the front, or I'll write journal or something. I don't think this one really needs anything on there. We'll put some sayings and so on on the front. Um, what I'm going to do is determine where I want this tie to tie around. Put it down just a little way so that we can see the children through there. Try it. See how it works as far as tying it. There we go and generally I clip the ends off at, a, at an angle. I think it looks pretty. Okay, and that's how the the journal will tie. Now, what I was talking about before, adhering it down to the back of the journal we can do that with this heart so I'm going to all this will do will assist in holding it on there while you're working on it and then you won't have to worry about where the ribbon is Put a little glue on the back and then I'm going to put glue on the, the heart. I like these little lace hearts. I got them at Hobby Lobby in the wedding section. Uh, don't ignore the wedding section. You can find a lot of cool things in there for working on your ephemera, you know, on your journals. They have lace, they have ribbon, they have flowers, they have, um, I found these, last week I found these napkins in the, the his and her area, which have lace on them, they're really pretty, I found those at Hobby Lobby for reduced to 74 cents actually, which was a good deal. Okay, so let's put this down. And like I said, what that will do, we'll just hold it, give it some extra security. I'm just making sure it's straight right now, kind of maneuvering it around. So that still needs to dry a little bit. 
What I also like to do is sometimes I like to put a, um, a little charm onto the front of the lace where it ties or over here on the side. Okay, and all I do there is I get one of these little bulb pins and I put the charm on there. So that and dangle down on the front. That looks nice. Okay, let's work on the inside of it a little bit since we have the cover finished. going to need is we're going to need some some items to fill the pockets so on so let's see what we've got here this is something that I had already had finished it is a um, it's a long envelope that I made out of scrap of paper happens to have been the, the scrap of paper that I've used in this journal and I found this on the internet. It's a picture of a lady looking at shells on the beach. That that was so pretty. And I added a, a piece of lace and a starfish charm, a little piece of twine. It opens up. I mean, it it has a um, pocket up up on the top where you can pull out, and it has a journaling card. And the journaling card says. To unpath waters, undreamed shores. It's from Shakespeare. I sewed around it, and on the back it has journaling space. You can also open it up, and on the inside it has some journaling space. It fits right in here. And then I made a little tag to go in this pocket on the front of a little boy in a sailor suit. Says our boy, and the back has some scrapbooking paper and twine. Kind of like that peeking out. Okay, so let's find a place to put this. It would fit in this pocket, however, I think it's maybe a little bit too big for that. And I'd like to leave more of this uh, nice tea dyed paper showing. So I might have to find a place for this where it can rest on a page that has quite a bit of white, which would be this one, I would think. Okay, so we can either put this on with the paper clip. Maybe I'll maybe I will do that. Maybe I'll put it on with the paper clip. This is this paper clip. I'll put a little, put a little ribbon on this paper clip. This is my uh, my ribbon ring, which I showed you how to make in one of my one of my videos. And I also have these for sale on my Etsy shop. Basically, it's just a, a bracelet that I covered with a bunch of different ribbons, so that whenever I need a ribbon for a tag or Another part of the journal I can just grab from here and I don't have to go searching through all my boxes and bags of, of uh, ribbon. So I think I kind of would like to do this purple one. So let's, let's take this off. Actually, I probably can just cut it right off of here because we don't need that big of a piece. Cut it off of here. And I have this ribbon ring just hanging right in my area, my work area. And I'm just going to attach this piece of ribbon to paper clip and tie it on. Tie it once or twice, whatever works. 
I tried it twice. There we go. It just gives you a nice little decorative paper clip. I'll put this on. And it's okay if the paper clip um, shows outside of the, the page. That's nice. Nice touch. Okay, and last time we put a, a, a journaling card inside, inside this envelope. Okay, speaking of paper clips, I also have made this little paper clip, which I put a piece of the scrap of paper that had little mermaids on it. If you could see that, it had little mermaids on it. I put a little scrap of lace on the inside, and I I put the card over the top of the halfway mark. Um, I put it over the top of the uh, paper clip, and I it had where the fold was. I've got a nice little paper clip. And my songs were using that. Okay, so we were working on the paper clip. And I did put a bit of lace on the side. Here. We have that finished. We'll figure out where we're going to put that in a minute. And another thing I wanted to show you was this is an envelope. I think we did I think I showed you that already. If not we'll do it through in the flip through. It's another paper clip clipping it to the side with just a bit of lace on the on the paper clip. Okay. And the video did shut off uh, yesterday after I did the paper clip, so I'm, I'm continuing on from that. So if I've showed you some of this, then you'll you'll know what happened with the with the uh, video cutting off. I think we're okay right now. Yes, we are. So let's start going through here and seeing what we can do as far as uh, decorating the inside some more. Um, let's see, let's put on a pocket. This page we, we uh, glued down to make a pocket and we stamped on the top. Okay, this page is going to have a, a uh, tuck spot right here. I'm going to glue this down. This is also a flip. Let me show you how this works. This flips up. A Rita Donnelly flip, and the reason it's called Rita Donnelly is because she's the person that started it. Okay, and what we want to do is we want to be able to flip this up so we can so we can write here, and we want to glue this down on these two sides. So remember, I said when when we're glue, when I'm gluing something down, what I usually do is I is I hold it in my left hand or non-dominant hand so that I know where I'm not supposed to put the glue. So I'm not supposed to put the glue where I'm holding on the side where I'm holding it. So that'll work. Okay. And this goes into the corner. And I don't want to cover over the lace. So I'll bring it up just a little bit on, on both sides. And this folds up right right on here and this is also a, a great tuck spot for a little tag or something which we'll be making some little tags soon um, this is where I placed a card yet uh, the other the other part of the video This can be 
a tuck spot or it can be just a, a plain page. I think I'm going to leave it as a, as a plain page. This page will need to do something with. I used some ocean stickers on this page on the part where I didn't have this uh, fold out. Okay, this is the flip. Showed you that. Oh, here's a here's a spot I haven't shown you yet. I use these photo corners, and what I do is I cut a piece of paper. It's like a template so that whoever gets the book can cut their own photo to this size and then all they have to do is slide it into the, the photo corners. Another way you can do this if you're making your own journal is just um, put the put the photo corners on there and then you can you can slide your own photo in there and then glue the whole thing down or just glue the corners down like I did. So the reason I did two and a half by three and a half is that's a common size of a, of a photograph. Okay, this has been decorated. It's good journaling space, journaling space. This is the back of the envelope. And I glued these doilies down to the side. I glued a piece of um, cuff or tea dyed paper down. And then I went around with my ink on the edges to blend it in to the white to the white page and to make the white page not not quite so white. I like the way that looks. Here's the center of the signature. A great journaling spot. This is the other part of the doily that I glued down for journaling or photographs. Okay, now this is a, another uh, pocket that's, it's actually it's the flap of the envelope that's, that's back here. So it's the flap of the envelope and I glued down this little um, it's a digital that I got uh, from Mrs. Cog. Mrs. Cog is a is a uh, she has an Etsy store, and she also has a YouTube channel. So it's Mrs. Cog's, and it's um, one that I got from her digital. I, I bought her digital, and then I printed it on paper. And it, this is one of the little pictures that I got. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a tuck spot right here. So I want to glue on the top. And I want to glue on the bottom. Okay. okay so there we go. I'm just going to um, keep going. I'm probably going to uh, run out of time on, on this on this video. Um, and then I'll show you the rest of it in the next video. So if I run out of time, just know that, and then and the video stop, just know that I'm going to be back with the, the last part of the video. Okay. Now this, we can put a a tag or something in. Let's see what I've got over here. Um, I do have, this was a snippet that I'm, that I made that I had in my stash. It says, follow your dreams. I think that'll look kind of nice on this, on this page. Let's see, it's on there. Yeah, I think that'll go really well on this page. So I'm going to glue it down. I think I'll use my heavier glue since that snippet has several layers. Let's show you that closer up. It says follow your dreams. But since it's heavier, I'm going to use uh, this more heavy duty glue to, to glue it down. 
and I'm just going to put it on the back of the paper part. I'm not going to put it on the lace. Basically, I just made this, and we'll make snippets here sometime on my site, on my uh, channel. It's just papers and laces, um, kind of built up. Has some tool in here. Has a button, scrap of paper, and then of course there's sentiment. Follow your dreams. If I had wanted to, I could have made this a pocket, but I, I think it's kind of a little bit too fragile to use as a pocket, so we'll just have, you know, space for journaling up here or photographs, whichever you decide, or the person that is going to buy this journal decides. Okay. Here we go. Oh, here's, here's the photo. Another place for a photograph. This is kind of for a bigger one. I'll show you how I do this. First, I cut my I cut my photo template or the actual photo if you, if that's what you're using. And if you're using uh, your own photo, you can I suggest a copy rather than put uh, the real photo in here, especially if it's a vintage photo, because this will this scrap a good um, journal will get some use out and it might get worn unless you want your original in there and that's fine okay I'll just put these little corners on Now, if this was your your real photo that you were going to use and you were making a journal with a page like this, I would suggest that you glue down the whole thing. And in other words, put glue on the, the corners and on the back of this. But this is going to... Uh, have the, just the corners for later placement of a, of a photo. I'm trying to get this somewhat even. Okay. I'm going to place it on here as straight as I can get it. And just the corners are going to be stuck down at this point. And you can get these photo corners at... Um, I believe I got mine at Michael's, but I've seen them also at Joanne and Hobby Lobby. Okay, here you have some space for maybe some more photos or some more memorabilia. Um, let me put our little... Should we put our little... No, we really can't put it on that side because of the, because of the lace. So let's see where we can put it. Okay, here's another example of something that I did um, off camera is I took a napkin and I used my um, glue stick and I glued down part of it over here and then this was a like a flip page which can be used as a pocket which I think I will glue it down to be used as a pocket or it can be uh, used just like this why don't we why don't we use it as a as a page to write on that way we can write on the back and then we can put this uh, our paper clip that we made we can put that over here okay and this would be a great spot for you to to clip in any kind of a a, a photograph or in mem memorabilia that you get from your trip you know uh Maybe you might get a brochure or something that you want to put put in there, and then you just tuck it right in under there. Okay. 
Here's the other half of that pocket, and here's a piece of uh, tea dyed paper that I have in there for journaling on. Place for a flip or a pocket. Let's see, do I want to put another pocket on here? Where does that go? This way. This way. This way, I think. Flip. Yeah, let's go ahead and put that there. It's another flip. This is another uh, Greta Donnelly flip in pocket. These little pockets and flips come in handy when you want to just, as you're, as you're going on your trip, you want to put something in there. Putting it fairly close to the edge. Okay, and you've got your flip up where you can write, and you also have your pocket where you can insert whatever. Okay, this page. Quite sure what we're gonna do with that yet, but um, I could make a pocket. Why don't we do that? Why don't we make a pocket? Um, let's make the pocket up at the top, and we could glue it down to either one of these two pages. I'm gonna glue it to the white side since that's kind of blank. You can also decorate this pocket. Let's see what else I have. Let's see, I have, I have this girl. Just that'd be kind of pretty there. Down here. I think I'll maybe I'll move it up further. Just because there seems to be a lot of bulk down here on this part of the journal. So we'll move it up a little bit. This is also another uh piece of ephemera that I had in my stash. A lot of times I'll just sit and make ephemera. I do, if you go over to my Etsy shop, I do have some ephemera for sale over there. It's like a three pack. You get, th and you, you, you get what you see. The, the photograph shows three different pieces of ephemera and you, you would order that and you would get those exact three that are on there. Okay, I like that. I might do some stamping or something else down here. Um, seems like I need some more over here. I'll cover that area. And that's uh, from Artie Mays also. That's It's further back on, on this other page. You, you'll recognize that same lady. Okay. This we decorated already. This we have. And this is where we have a pocket. Let's make a few more things to put in this po these pockets. Okay. I did make this this tag ahead of time. This is a, a napkin. This part here is a napkin. First of all, I put down music sheet on the background, music paper on the background of the tag. And I used a, um, I saved these clothing tags that I get off of, off of clothing. Um, and I save those and then I cover them and use them as, as tags for my journals. It's a great way of using and uh, recycling things. And uh, I feel like we need to recycle as much as possible using cardboard for our books and so on. Okay, 
so this is the tag this one says this is the life so it's going to make another tag um, this one says be mermazing okay I think I'm just going to make this one fairly simple Oops, that's a little bit too much. Okay. Got a little bit too much ink on there, so what I'm doing is I'm just spreading it out with my fingers. I think I'm going to make this a tag. I think I'm going to make this a journaling card, which means it'll sit in one of the pockets in the journal and it can be taken out and written on, on the back. You could, if you wanted to, put some uh, put some lines on here or uh, stamp some lines. There's, there's stamps. Or another thing that I use sometimes is a corrugated uh, cardboard, a piece of a corrugated cardboard. And I would show you that right now because I can't find my cardboard. But that's okay. You just take the piece of cardboard and you, you put it on your stamp. And then you, you go down. Let me see if I can kind of mimic it. Make some lines on here. You can either write on those lines or above them. They're very faint. But that'll give you some journaling space. This is a little bit too too wide, so I think what I'll do is cut it. And then I'll glue it down. And like I said, it says, be mermazing. Okay, I like the way that turned out. If I wanted to, I could put a piece of lace down here. So I have a, I have this piece of laying on my desk. No, it really isn't. Really isn't wide enough to do anything. I could use it as a, as a tab on the side. That might be kind of fun. Why don't we do that? And I'll use my, um, I have this mini, mini stapler. It's by Tim Holtz. There we go. Got a little tab on the side. Let's find a side pocket to put this in. I know I've got one here somewhere. Bit in here. Yeah, well, or put it in one of these front or back ones. I think I will put it in the back one. I kind of like her. I kind of like her there. Maybe I'll put this this one here. That. Okay, I'm gonna make some more things to put in this journal. Um, we will come. I will come back and we'll make some more. For now, thanks for joining me. 
and have a peace of mind type of day. Bye.